welcome to the birthday gift. I'm doing a 2024 prediction reading for Virgo. Okay, I want to say this. The prediction readings are just that. Just know because of free will and because everything is fluid, things can change. So this tells you a potential of what energies you're going to deal with this year. We are in a eight year. So this is a year of abundance. So there's a lot of opportunity to really bring things back to you that you sent out. That's basically the key here. It is a year of karma. It is an eight. And if you think about the eight, it's like the infinity. So what you sent out, it's coming back. Okay, what you sent out is coming back. So you can say it's a year of karma, good or bad. If you've been sending out good, expect that. If you've been sending out bad, expect that. So we're going to do a career section. We're going to do love and we're going to do finance and money. All right, I'll use three different decks of cards for each section. Also, I was getting something. Okay, I feel like I walked into somebody in particular's life. Now, I see someone from your past. They watch you. They watch you very closely. I don't think you know this. Okay, so you may be on social media or something. There is someone watching you. Their main focus right now is their money, though. Okay, so they're only watching you just to keep tabs. I, I feel like you give them some type of inspiration, almost like you motivate them to keep working on whatever it is they're working on. They're working very hard. I see this person is building up their bank account or their lifestyle. They're trying to get like a better structured life. So this person is very career oriented. It may not have worked because this person was always working. Now, they see you as the prize. So I feel like they plan to come back. I don't feel they're making any moves right now. But their plan is to eventually reach out. So this person watches you. I don't think they make a noise. I don't think you know they watch you. I feel like your life and their life is totally separate. You're already, you've already moved on. You're in your flow of life. You, Your thoughts may go back to them every once in a while. They're somewhere else. The two of you are distant from each other. But this person watches you. They're working on their money. And they kind of feel like, you're the prize. So in the end, they plan to reach out to you when they feel they're at a place where they're confident enough to do that. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm using Ink Tattoo Tarot. Ink Intuition Tattoo Tarot. Okay. Message for Virgo 2024 career message for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 2024 career. Okay, Queen of Coins. This is you. So I feel like you're going to have a healthy start. So this basically tells me that you're going to be in your element. So you're starting off good. So 2024 should be a very stable year for you, Virgo, when it comes to your career, money, finance. It's important to honor yourself and to be yourself, though. The fact that you showed up first and I... I honestly feel like you're going to feel very confident with where you are career-wise. So this could be you with your own business, or this could be you working for another organization. Whichever way, I feel like you're going to be in a healthy space. Let me keep going because I, 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 f I feel like there's something trying to throw you off, though. I, like There is interference energy as I'm talking. My energy keeps getting pulled from a different place. So some of you, when it comes to career, how much you can focus and how much you can really put the emphasis on you is important because there will be things pulling you. It's like tugging at you. 
And the thing about it is this is your comfort space. Virgos, when it comes to career, you're usually all right. Even if things are not going good, for some reason, you know you'll bounce back. So this is a very confident area for Virgos. Eight of Cups. Some Okay, so some of you will be leaving your job this year. I, I, I think that's why they started that way. There's going to be things that pull at you and make you kind of feel some type of way around career. Because I see some of you walking away from your work or losing your job. There's a change in career here. Wow. Queen of Cups. There's a change. It's going to change you. Here's what's happening. Some of y'all, your love life is getting entangled with career because I see you going from taking care of yourself to being taken care of. So some of you, you may go from working to being like a stay at home wife or girlfriend or stay at home mother. Like I see you being taken care of. There's a change in career and it's linked to your love or your relationship with somebody you're romantically involved in. So some of you may work with somebody and you are also involved with them romantically. This is, there is going to be a reason. This may actually be the cause as to why you leave the job, some of you. Because you can't focus because of this person. There's a change in work and it has something to do with uh, someone you are in a relationship with. I mean, it could even be you move to be closer to someone you're in a relationship with. So you leave your current job. Some of you, the person you're in a relationship with may be moving for their job and you go with them. There's a change in 2024 in career. It's going to put you in a more vulnerable space career-wise. So there are some changes here. Okay. Seven of Wands. It's going to put you, yeah. Your guards, your guards, they're going to have to come down. Some of you, this is going to change who you are, actually. Um. I, I, I feel some resistance, so this might be uncomfortable for some. Let's keep going. Five of Cups, yep. This is going to be an adjustment for y'all. Especially those of you who's always had it, and you've always done it on your own. There is going to be an element here of... Um, Being asked to put your guards down and trust and be a little bit more vulnerable. And this is not your comfort zone. This is out of your comfort zone, Virgo. And I do see some, there's going to be some sadness around this, actually. There's going to be some tears, literally. I feel somebody's going to start regretting something. Tell me more around career. There's some decisions someone's going to be making. And in hindsight, it looks like it puts you in a very vulnerable place. The fool is here. Yeah. So it's like uh, making a very brave decision on faith. This was very risky. Someone. Okay, so I see. Many of you, this is going to be a healthy experience. And it's going to call for you to uh, trust that everything's going to be okay. I do see a big move in career. You might actually move to another city for a job. And there will be an adjustment period with this. But the whole experience is about... Letting go of control issues around uh, careers. Some of you have always had it like planned 
and just set out in a certain way, this experience is going to, it's going to kind of put you in a space where you have to go with the flow. It's going to make you softer. Okay. It's uh, uncomfortable here. I see some uncomfortable situations in, wor in, in work, in career. It's almost like you may have never, ever had an intimate relationship with somebody you work with, and you may actually end up finding yourself in this position. And that may be what muddles up career for you. Because for some of y'all, it's literally, you just start some type of affair with someone and then because of that, you have to leave the job when it doesn't work. And then you deal with regrets, but it does give you a fresh new start. Um, all right. Some of y'all got rivals at work. You got rivals, people who you're in competition with. Two of Swords. So if you're at a job and you're dealing with a lot of competition, backlash, it could be cattiness because I'm I'm getting there could be some gossip. There could be some things being said that are not true. There's um, rumors. Just know if you're dealing with a lot of like having to stand up for yourself, having to fight, having to defend yourself, Seven of Wands. And you're going to a place that you don't really like and you find yourself just feeling sad a lot because of work. That Those are all cues for you to just leave. Those are all cues to leave, especially if you're not getting the recognition that you deserve. Because I'm getting a dead stop here. I'm getting like stalled energy. Like you can't move up. Right, like you may have been in the same position for a long time. You're watching other people come in, get promoted while you don't get the proper recognition, the accolades that you deserve. It's almost like you feel taken for granted. These are all cues for you to walk away. Okay, so many of you, there's opportunities for you to take that leap of faith and move to a whole different career or another job. Because I feel like there's a dead stop at your current work uh, location. There's other opportunities. Ten of Cups. Okay, maybe working with your family. No. Okay, it, this is like groups. It's starting like a different group. Let me see what's the last card next to Ten of Cups. So, some of y'all got groups of people against you that's causing the blocks. If that's if that's not a reason, like some of you are not getting the the cues to move on. Some of you are not getting the cues for a sword. Yeah, to withdraw, to retreat, to separate. So I do see separation from your current job. And let me tell you this. When people who you thought were with you are no longer standing with you, that's a straight message for you on what to do. Like that's when it's time to leave. Because I feel like some of y'all are going to be dealing with many people coming at you in a certain way. And I think that's when you're going to get the big picture. So there is change in career this year. I just feel like this is going to be reluctant. Some of you are going to do this reluctantly because you're trying to hold on to it. March is a very um, important month this year. When it comes to career, March. March, uh, I see June is an important year. 
I'm sorry, an important month. And then September. So, yeah, those three months seem to be the months of big changes in career. Okay. But there's definitely, it's like a reluctant move. And they're going to use the people around you to get you to make this move because somebody's going to fight this. There's like resistance to this type of change. But it's it's meant to happen this way. Some of y'all need to soften up. Some of you are workaholics. Everything you do is around work. Everything to the point where you have intertwined all elements of your life around work. You are just work. That's all you do is work. Some of you, that's your whole life. And I and I feel like this is where they have to put make you vulnerable to allow you to really flourish and see different sides of you. Some of you don't travel. You don't do anything because of work. You don't take time off. You keep rolling over your vacation days. Some of y'all start the new year with extra weeks of vacation because you roll them over. You don't take time off. You don't travel. You don't do anything. Your family may actually complain about this, actually. You miss important family functions. And you, you do this because you love work. You are work. So Virgo, this year, they're going to be trying to get you to separate from that identity of yourself or that part of yourself. You identify too much with it. Tell me about the Queen of Coins, please. Some of you have somebody at work you think is your friend. They are not. They're not. They're an agent. They come and get information from you and they share it. So be mindful of that. Okay, Queen of Coins, anything here? Six of Cups. This is interesting. I feel like there's going to be some past energies coming into your life this year. And these people from the past that come into your life this year, they're going to have an effect on um, how much you work, how the quality of your work may suffer when somebody resurfaces. So be mindful of this. Some of y'all, 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 when you fall in love, you always intertwine it with work. There's something interesting about your romantic life and career. There's like a direct link for y'all. Okay. And uh, let me move on to the next section. Y'all career section took a long time because y'all just, y'all are workaholics. It's almost like that's your number one concern. Love comes second and y'all know how to navigate that. But I feel like there's going to be somebody who comes in and throws you off a little bit here. They're really going to get you in your soft side, Virgo. And some of y'all need this. Some of y'all need this because when you get into this energy, you actually do it very well. And this side of you wants to, it, it wants to be experienced more. Some of you are just this. And there is another side of you. It wants to be vulnerable. It wants to have fun. But... You also know when you do that, you risk this. You risk having regrets. You risk crying. And some of y'all, that's why you only focus on career because you have too much experiences like this. But this year, they want you to do that. And I, I honestly feel like there is going to be... There's going to be some strong energies that come up because of some somebody from your past is coming in this year. Okay. Virgo, let's get into love. Let me go ahead and clear this. Okay, love for Virgo, 2024 love message. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please give me a message for Virgo and love romance. 
matters of the heart in 2024 for Virgo. Definitely there's a visit. Okay, there is somebody who's going to show up in your life who you've already known them before. A familiar energy is coming back this year. Okay, I'm getting some of y'all. This is an unexpected visit. Okay, so that can actually show up in a way where you actually bump into them. All right, all right, so tell me more. Virgo 2024, love, romance. Many of you, they're saying um, you, you, you're you used to having things in order or you're used to planning things out in order for you to get the best energy around love. You want to go with the flow, like live in the present moment, allow things to happen spontaneously. The planning energy, the already knowing how you respond. If this happens, I will do this. That energy does not is not going to be a helpful energy this year when it comes to love. In love romance, you want to go with the flow of the moment, okay? Four of Wands. Wow. Some of y'all, y'all are going to be uh, considering moving to the next step. I'm seeing committed relationships. I'm seeing committed relationships. Some of you... You're going to be meeting people or interacting with people where the energy for commitment is there. At least the idea to commit will be in your mind, in your energy, in your heart. So there's going to be someone who either changes your way of thinking around a committed relationship or they may even... Say things like, I want to be in a committed relationship with you. I'm getting even engagement, proposals, moving in together type of vibes here with the Four of Wands. Like literally, I see celebration. Uh, so somebody may be getting married this year or proposed to. Wow, for you. This is for you. Y'all showing up today. Y'all showing up in y'all message. So, yes, Virgo, I see like uh, a committed relationship or a partner who comes in who wants this with you. So, of course, what you decide or what they decide, right? Because this may be you wanting this with them. So there's like a uh, really good partner that you're going to meet this year where the potential for a long-term relationship is strong. Yeah, I, I do see conflict around this, but the way I see this is like settled conflict. I don't see you fighting it. I see you actually considering the fact that you fight it or the fact that you fought it, right? For so long, some of you all have loved your own independence. Y'all just be focusing on these coins, Virgo. Y'all focus on the coins. So I feel like that five of wands energy is usually fighting each other, fighting yourself. I see you actually settling these energies and having a conversation with these sides of you that tell you no. And I almost feel like you're going to consider it. So your views around relationship this year, consider changing your views around relationship or what you believe. Because some of you all are like anti commitment anti long term because you love your independence you love being able to make your own hours travel when you want you know come home when you want that independence virgo loves to have that because it's a part of the it's actually a part of the virgo energy the hermit being able to spend time alone do things when you want how you want having the ability Queen of Pentacles, universe, always make sure you have the ability to pay your own way, you know, your own resources. You're surrounded by nature, which uh, the earth energy, uh, you're resourceful. You're able to look around and use what you can to bring intangible goods for yourself. That is the part of 
the uh, Queen of Pentacles energy, like uh, you're in touch with nature and you are, it's like you're 100% sure nature will always bring you and provide for you what you need. So you're grounded. You're grounding those energies that tell you that a committed relationship will take away your independence. I think a lot of you may have had bad experiences in committed relationships and you realize it takes away your freedom. So you're, you're probably straddling the fence here. All right. Yeah, somebody's coming in to help. Many of you are being moved into a space where you have a helper. So I do see changes. I see movement. I, I mean, literally, some of y'all are going to be moving. Why does it feel like this is reluctantly? Uh, let's keep going. Ace of Wands. Well, you know, I do see some excitement. Some of y'all are just fighting it. Like, it's like you want it, but you question if you want it. So I see some introspection around what you want. This is a good year to really think about what you want when it comes to um, love. Some of y'all don't know what you want. Ace of Wands here is going to end up in the middle. It's, it's like not being sure if I want to do this, but there's an excitement. Deep down, you want it. I, this is that flame. This is Ace of Wands. There's a fire within that wants commitment. Some of you are just lying to yourself when you say you don't want it. Because I'm, I'm seeing it. You do want it. You just keep trying to talk yourself out of it. It's like you want the help. But you don't want to lose your independence. That's that's how it feels. You <laughs> see, it's like you want somebody to come help do the work. Some of y'all literally just want somebody to do the physical labor. You just want a handyman. Um, because I still see you focusing on work, career. Some of you, that's that's basically gonna be your main focus. Working career. But it's like I can use some help. That's what I'm getting. Okay, some of y'all know you can use some help. I see. Well, somebody's coming in and I feel like they're going to be. They may not be what you picture, though. Okay, some of y'all are really thinking about this because it's not what you pictured. It, it's not playing out the way you um it's not playing out the way you fantasize about it, like the way you picture it in your mind. It's not picture perfect, right? It's like, uh, I need to examine this a little bit more. Is this what I asked for? Is is it going to be coming through this person? I don't know if this is it. Some of y'all are doing this in your mind. I see you. So it'll take a while. Right. I feel like some of y'all go through several months of introspection, several months. Can I work with this? Can is this something that can be fixed? Y'all trying to make it perfect. And that's why they say go with the flow. Don't try to plan it out. Don't try to make it perfect. It's not going to be perfect. And that's the thing. Some of y'all trying to perfect something that can't be perfected. It's only perfected during application, right? As you apply it to your life, as you involve yourself in it, as you take action in it, that's the perfection part. Like you, it doesn't come out perfect. And some of you, that's what you, you're so used to trying to um, control the outcome and you have such high expectations. This is a fight, I see. All right, so, so far, these cards are telling me there's opportunity for you to be, and if you're wanting to be in a committed relationship, there's there's opportunity. No one has entered this message yet, right? This spread only has you. So many of you, you're sitting around and you're asking for it, but you have too much demands. Like your... Uh, 
your idea of what you want, I don't want to say is unrealistic, but I can say this. You can get exactly what you want, but you got to let it in first, right? So if something shows up and it's not where you want it to be, you reject it. You never get to actually let it become what it can be. So baby steps, right? Also trusting. And, and, I, and I think that's why you're going to go through those energies of being vulnerable in work so that you can kind of flex that energy a little bit more. It's like practice that muscle because in order to let somebody in your life, romantically, you have to become a little bit more vulnerable. You have to be a little bit more trusting because deep down you want this. Some of y'all, you've been celibate for a long time and you want that physical touch. You want it. You want it. You yearn it. It's, 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 it's like it's close. It just hasn't entered you yet. It hasn't entered your life yet. By, um, well, it's like by July. Okay, it's Ju okay so July seems to be an important month around love for y'all. All right, let's get the last three cards here. Uh, the magician is here. See, it's it's literally something that you can bring in this year. Love. If you want love, you have the power to manifest it. You're ready. Your energy is ready for it. Some of y'all, you already have your house. Your career is going well. The only issue is love. But the, the reason love doesn't come in is you want it perfect and it doesn't work like that. It just don't. It don't work like that. So, hmm, this is so interesting. If you want to call it in and watch it happen. Yep, watch it happen. So, there's somebody waiting. The thing about this is it's not someone specific. It's not like a particular person. I feel like it can be anyone you just got to tell the universe, I want it. And then you actually attract somebody who compliments you, someone who balances you. And I feel like the physical attraction will be strong. There's going to be a very strong chemistry between the two of you. I mean, the sex is going to be great. Some of y'all, it's almost like that is the most important part of your connection. Like you need that physical connection to be strong so that's one of your must yeah i see okay let's get the last card and I, I feel like you can actually call this person in just remain positive yeah listen do i see a particular specific person no i feel like y'all may have options that's why it's, it's like you might have certain people in your vicinity, but your energy is not specifically calling one person. Your energy is calling the the one that's going to work well, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm getting like remain positive around romance because I'm getting positive energy. The star here. This is interesting. Okay, it could be a Gemini or an Aquarius. Some of you may meet this person in some type of group. Some type of, like, if you do something that you don't usually do. So I'm, I'm seeing somebody who's, like, out of the box. It's out of your norm. So it may not be your usual type. Wow. It's interesting how they flow these messages through. They Okay. It's like they know exactly what images to show me to tell. Like, it's going to be somebody who's different from a lot of you. It's not It's not what you're picturing in your head. Just be mindful of that. Because if you're thinking they're going to be a certain way, I, I, I think you might be mistaken. Some of you may work with this person. They keep taking me in the workplace. And I think because many of you, most of your energy is career. 
All right, tell me more. Queen of Pentacles. Tell me, Queen of Pentacles. Y'all show up all the time in your message and look what's at the bottom. Some of y'all got people from your past coming in and it might be multiple people. It may not be a particular person from your past because I feel like you have options. Whatever these options are, these are people you're kind of familiar with them. And the conflict comes from that, some of y'all. Wow. Major changes. So Scorpio season. Scorpio season seems to be a, a time where you're going to probably experience the biggest change or biggest shift in uh, love. Something unexpected is happening this year. Some of y'all are about to probably tie the knot. I, I, I feel like you're going to be doing something this year around love that you probably swear you would never have done. Some of y'all are about to be expecting. If you don't want to have a child, be very careful. Because I, I, I do see a lot of um, sexual energy. And I see something ex unexpected, something you never thought would happen. Happening in love. Let's see what the lovers is. Tell me about the lovers, please. Tell me about the lovers. Anything you can tell me about this person that will be coming into Virgo's life in 2024. Lovers, please. Some of y'all, it is a Scorpio. Man, y'all fighting it. You may be your own enemy when it comes to like romance. Because this is the same card you see out in this deck. They're fighting. In this deck, I see you trying to settle this energy. So it's all about what you do when the energy comes in. It's no particular person. I feel like you have the power to manifest who you want. Like it's still up in the air. Some of you still have not decided what you want. You, you, you might still be sending out mixed signals. That's why. Okay. Let, yep. That tell me. Get another card. Lovers. Tell me again. Anything else. The universe don't know what to send you. Wow. Some of y'all. You're just going to be reuniting with somebody. It's somebody from your past. So I see a reunion. Whoever this person is, they're strongly attracted to you. They find you to be attractive. They find you to be uh, very professional, very fun. Um, I'm getting like a sensuality here. Like I feel like this person likes to look at you. It's about you. It's not about the other person. That's why they're not showing me a person. They don't want you to make it about a person, Virgo, this year. It's several people. Y'all funny. Some of y'all just may... You might just have rendezvous this year. While people are offering you, uh, you know, serious commitments... You may tell them, I want to be single. I just want to, you know, do what I want to do. Because lovers is the choice card. Some of y'all have multiple people this year. Multiple options. Um, some of you may actually be in same-sex relationships. Polyamory. You might start practicing that. I, I kind of feel some of you don't want to settle down. That's this energy. You you know you look good. You know you're attracting a lot of people and you like that. And that may be what you want. But I see, I see what you think you want. You might change from that. So there's no particular one person coming up in your love message here. Let's um, get some romance, Angel, and then I'll move on to finances and money there's a card that fell on the floor um all right okay. 
All right, message for Virgo, love. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's what it is. This is a year of, it's about you giving to yourself. And what it is that you want, allow yourself to experience it with no apologies. It's about you. I see flirt and I see a lot of you will be doing that this year. It's literally just putting out the energy of I'm just having fun. I'm enjoying life. Anything else? Some of you are just going to be in um, third party relationships this year where you're not committing. Let me see what this card is that fell on the floor. Give me a second. Message of concern. It's like finding out something. There's something big this year in love. I feel like you might. You're going to be shocked with something. I'm doing an extended. We'll see if anything comes out on this. Because I feel like they're hiding certain things for y'all in love. Because they want you to be spontaneous. They want you to just go with the flow. L love in romance in 2024. If you're trying to plan things out, you don't get this big bang. But if you go with the flow and just experience it as it happens while you're loving yourself first, I feel like something big happens this year for y'all. And love. There's a major, there's some type of surprise here. I'm trying to see if like I can decode it in these cards. I feel like it's going to be exciting though. I feel like it's just exciting. Ace of Wands. Nothing. They're, they're hiding things. Ace of Wands. Okay. Ace of Wands. We have Nine of Wands. Somebody's holding on very tightly. Some of y'all, somebody is holding on to you. It's. I feel like y'all have, you're going to find something out that you don't know. And in the beginning, I was getting that there was somebody watching someone. You have options. That's why. You're going to have to choose. It's up in the air. In romance, things are up in the air. They're, it's like literally, it's going to feel confusing. You're not going to know who to choose, what to do. Somebody's holding on to you tightly, not giving up. I feel like you guys might have like um, multiple admirers that you have to choose from. And this is you trying to choose and you don't know. And it's like you're trying to figure it out. All right, we're going to leave it there. And um, if anything comes out and extended, that's that's where it's going to come out. Yeah, that's all they're telling me, Virgo. All right, so let's move into finances and career. Seems like it's going to be an eventful year, actually. I don't see you sitting still, especially around love. In love... There's going to be a lot of questions that arise. Many of you are not going to know what to choose or what's best. And to be honest, there is no answer. There is no what's best. There is no what to choose. Literally, it's up to you. What you choose is what's best for you. Virgo, be mindful of that. Be very mindful of that. All right. Career and finance. I'm going to use Angel Tarot cards. I'm sorry, for uh, finance and money, not career. Finance and money. So this is basically how your money is going to be this year. The energy around your money. Just remember what you've been putting out is what you get back. If you find yourself like working in an area or giving your energy to an area that you don't really like, money, 
you might not like how it is. All right. So it's like energy. Money is energy. So if you're putting your time and energy to make money and you're putting it into something you don't really like to do, just know you're not going to like the returns you get from that. All right. That's that's basically how money works. It's a uh, language. It's a language. Tell me about money finance for Virgo in 2024, please. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Money, Finance, 2024. King of Air. Oh, wow. I hope you're expressing yourself clearly. That has something to do, is linking to your money. If you don't know how to speak up and speak with confidence, and if you need professional advice, getting it and not being too much in the mental or too much in the emotion. If you don't know how to balance your emotions and figure out what's best for me, and not only in money now, this is in all areas of your life. This is in general. If you don't have the energy of somebody who knows how to set healthy boundaries, because remember, money is energy, like I just said. If you don't have the energy of saying what you need to say and standing on it, and then at the same time, applying what you say, like mean what you say when you say it, your money energy will be very low vibrational. Like it's, it's, it's just not going to be good, right? This is the first card. Speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance, mental and emotional considerations. So there's a need for you to set healthy boundaries in general in order to call or to have a healthy um, money energy coming to you. Let's keep going. Ace of Fire. Yeah. There's definitely career advancement opportunities for y'all this year. This is an exciting new opportunity. So... A, if you're taking advice and you're doing what you're advised, right, because you feel like it's, it's good for you. I, I feel like some of y'all, you're going to be led to somebody who's going to basically be like a mentor for you. Or even this could be a therapist, someone who's put in your life to give you advice, um, give you advice that's going to be helpful for you overall. Your dreams come true. So there is definitely positive energy around money this year. If you're speaking your truth, if you're standing on what you say, and if you are making healthy boundaries for yourself, right? So there has to be something in there about like, I care for myself. I'm doing this because I have to do it for me. That energy brings positive energy for you in money this year. That's the key. Like if you hearing, oh, there's money, there's exciting opportunity, but you're not taking care of Virgo first. You're ignoring the cues that you're getting. Don't expect the rest of it to come true. It just doesn't work that way. Like it only, it has to follow your energy. It has to. That's how this works, y'all. Let's keep going. Page of air. Challenging information. I feel like some of you, you're going to have to speak your truth. And not care how it comes out. Um, delays or change of plan. Truth delivered without tact. Literally. Some of you are going to have to just say, say what you got to say. That is linked to your finances. How strongly you can stand on what you say. Like it's not just you say something, but it's just empty. If you're not standing on what you say, that affects your money. I mean, I hate to say it that way, but this is how it's going to work. Empress, lavish abundance. This year, you can really bring in what you need when it comes to money if you are honoring yourself. The Empress, she knows her worth. She doesn't chase. She don't beg. She's not sitting around feeling sorry for her. She's definitely not anybody's victim. Okay, now just know that doesn't mean she wasn't victimized, right? People could have done you wrong. 
People could have tried to make you look weak, you know, manipulate you. However, you don't become their victim. You don't give them the power. That's where I'm going here. You stand up for yourself. Healthy boundaries are important. Lavish abundance is coming. Nurture yourself. Nurture yourself. Then others, right? It says nurture yourself and others. Nurture yourself, then others. Like always make sure you're taking care of yourself. Seven of water, a complex decision. Y'all got some decisions. Y'all got choices. This is the seven of cups that came up. This is seven of cups. So who you choose has a lot to do with what kind, what kind of inflow of money you're going to be getting. So if you're choosing, you're still making the wrong choices. You're letting people in your life that has no business in your life. That affects your money. Yes, it does affect your money. The need to do research. You got to really dot your eyes, <laughs> cross some T's. This is interesting. I like your message because it's it's really giving you actual advice on what you need to do to make sure things go right this year. So you have strong, strong potentiality to bring in good opportunities, making your dreams come true. I mean, a love life. Nine of Water says a love life. Like I, I feel strongly you have the opportunity to bring in strong partner, a strong partner. You have to make the choice. The choice you make needs to honor you. This all affects your money, Virgo. Like if this, then that. Ten of water, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Literally, you get you get the big bang. You get everything. You get everything wrapped in a package. If you're if you are honoring yourself, you're loving yourself first, you're giving to things that give to you. Literally, you set yourself up for success. It's about how you move. And that's why the that's why the love spread. Pay attention to that love spread. It was all about you. And even the romance angel card was love yourself first. This is about you and how you treat you. If you start making 2024 about other people, how they show up in your life, what they're doing to you, if that becomes your main focus, you're off track. You're off track. Your money ain't going to be right. Empress at the center. So a lot of you, you got some strong potential this year to bring in some lavish abundance. That's what the card says. A contented and rewarding family life. Your material and emotional needs. This is trustworthy relationships. You get a relationship. Many of y'all, it may be with a king of air. Your person may have that king of air energy. Aquarius came up and Gemini came up. Some of y'all, this person's going to have air on their chart. I mean, I'm going to tell you who to pick, but I feel like it's going to be somebody who speaks their mind. This is going to be somebody who tells you straight up. They don't hide. They're, they're, they don't hide what they feel. They're not about fluff. They don't keep you wondering. They speak. And you hear them and you understand exactly what they're saying. So this is not somebody who's going to make you feel confused. They're not going to basically put that energy of confusion on you. That confusion energy is a real, real um, parasitic type of, because it takes, it takes from you, it sucks you dry. So a lot of you, you, you need to, it's like, the people around you who bring confusion, that should be a message. You should take that as a message. Okay? King of Water is here too. Wow. Open your heart. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. So just keep in mind, the person who's coming in, because now some of y'all, it might be a water sign. It's going to be, y'all got several options. That's why. You have several options. It's not just one person who's going to be that person. It's up to you. 
Like it's what you choose. I feel like this is someone who they may have recently healed not being able to express. Like maybe in the past when you experienced them, they couldn't express to you. Now they do. So if you have somebody come from the past and they're still showing up that way, you don't know how they feel. They don't tell you. It feels like a big secret, right? Your whole love spread, romance spread was secret. Some of y'all were dealing with like very secretive energy where you don't know what the person was doing, how they felt. And that's why they sit there watching you. You don't even know. A lot of you got that energy of a person who doesn't really express. And they started with this guy because the person needs to come in expressing. I'm just telling you, you have to know what this person wants. They have to tell you, listen, this is what I see for us. This is where I see us going. This is what I want. This is how I want to do it. And then they ask you, what do you want? Where do you see this going? Are we on the same page? Like, it needs to be that kind of conversation. Because you got the Ten of Water, you got the King of Water. I mean, Nine of Water is here. Y'all got good energy. Your money will match your energy. Your money will match what you allow in your life. If you're in some broken down, raggedy relationships that don't give to you just know your money it ain't gonna be right it's just not gonna be right it's not it's not they're they're literally telling you like your money is gonna match your love for yourself what you give to that's how the universe is gonna give to you a earth wow <laughs> damn y'all guys <laughs> y'all work energy y'all career energy is strong learning all there is to know about a topic going back to school skilled work is rewarded you see skilled work is rewarded so you're going to be rewarded your money is going to match what you're working on where you're giving your energy if you are basically giving your energy to something that gives to you expect your money to be up so i feel like you have really positive positive energy about money but it has a lot to do with what you're putting yourself into so for example right earth if you start creating something beautiful that's yours and you love every moment of it and this is why they tell you like step into your creative energy if you're able to do that and you actually love what you're doing and you feel like you're actually getting to the objective or the goal that you set out for yourself. That in itself is beautiful because that's you creating. That's the Empress energy. As you do that, you're going to see that money just flows. As you give to yourself, as you love yourself, money flows. The money's going to flow, y'all. The money will flow. Okay. Um, tell me about the Empress, please. Wow. The Fool. Now, the fool did come out in reverse. It, it It's like it flipped into my hand so I could pick it up like this. So, okay, so this is like, those restrictions, those limitations, they no longer exist. I kind of feel like they will exist, but you, not to you, right? Like you can see the red flags or you can see the signs or you can feel that something may not be right. But because you know your worth, you don't, that's not a rule that applies to you. This feels kind of tricky. Like this feels tricky, actually, because some of you, it might feel like a trap, but it's not. That's how I'm seeing it. There's certain things that might look wrong, but it's right. That's where I'm going. If something looks wrong, but it feels right, and you dive into it, that's a jackpot for you. That's a that's big. Because I feel like it's not what it seems. Don't judge a book by its cover. Many of you, you... This is about second chances. So this may be you having to give certain things second chance. You need to give certain things another look. 
The Empress knows her worth. There's a knowing here. There's a knowing. It's not a belief. It's a knowing. So you got to be in that energy of, I know this is right for me. So this is like, it looks like I'm about to walk off this cliff and I'm going to fall and I might die. The Empress says, listen, this looks crazy, but I'm about to be crazy. I'm going to do it anyway. It's almost like everybody's telling you not to do it and you do it. That's the energy I'm getting here. You have to be moving in your own way. This is your dance. This is your movie. You're the star. Other people, they're coming in. They give you advice. It could be heartfelt. It could be professional advice. If it don't match you and what you know is right for you, don't take it. It's that energy. You got to move like that. It's not right. But I'm doing it anyway, right? Or it's not right. But it's not wrong. It's whatever it is. Like it is what it is. That 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 energy will help you here. When it comes to money, you can't be following rules. Your rules, other people's rules, whatever. You can't be following rules. You gotta be following your heart. That's the knowing. And that brings in positive things in uh money for y'all. Okay, so looking at this spread, your money is tied to romance. Romance. Your money is not that like strongly tied to um, career, actually. I feel like career is black and white. Like, I get this job, I get paid this amount. If you have a job, you know how much you get paid, you know how much money you're going to get. Period. If you are picking certain kind of partners into your life, that's going to affect your money. Some of y'all, you, you're intertwining love and work. That may be the reason you lose your job or you have to leave your job and that's going to negatively affect your, your your work. Does that make sense? You're picking somebody you work with. It doesn't go well. There's drama at work. You end up being pushed out of the work environment and then you have low money. And that's because you're choosing a certain kind of partner, right? On the flip side, you choose a certain partner at work and it works and you might flourish. And that might lead you to some type of promotion where you move into a whole different job that's much better because you chose a better partner. Like the energy of who you choose is going to affect your money. That's where I'm going. Even if you don't work with this person, you might see yourself failing in work because you're choosing some type... A lot of y'all, y'all money is linked to who you date. And I think in your prior experience, you've already gone through that. You've seen you like as you start dating a particular type of person or a particular person, your money starts going down. Your career, your career starts to go down. Many of y'all are starting to see those patterns and that's why you're so protective of work. And career and you stay focused there because it's almost like as soon as you get in a relationship for some reason your money starts going down or maybe none of you have experienced this yet maybe some of you have not experienced this yet but as soon as you start dating a person your money starts going up these are all signs this is the universe talking to you this is a language listen to it okay that's the message that's the message i will do an extended I'm going to do an extended and I'm going to ask for more on each on each um, spread on each side of the message. I'm going to ask for more on career. I'm going to ask for more on love because I feel like love was the most cryptic for y'all. And then I'm going to ask for more on finances. All right. So we're doing tarot sessions this uh, January. OK, at the end of January, I'm starting tarot sessions. OK, the way I'm being moved, I'm, my guides are moving me more into like one on one work where I work directly with people. I love doing these messages on YouTube. I love it, love it, love it. So every time I'm guided to do it, I do it. But as you all notice, I don't do it as much as I used to. And that's because I'm more effective when I'm working one on one. So the tarot sessions, it creates a safe environment for people who have the same intent 
of learning themselves, right? You're going to start noticing that you no longer resonate with general messages anymore. And just know that that in itself is a message. It's time for you to start reading for yourself. If, if the reader you always love to listen to and where you always went for your messages, you no longer resonate, that's a message. It's time for you to start reading for yourself. So that's why I'm doing these tarot sessions. If you're interested, the information is down below. Just know I do have a cap on how much people can join each session. So space is limited. All right. So the information for that is down below. And if you're interested in the extended, it's uh, also down below. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. for you dang y'all message be straight up so do, do you see it's interesting how you end up in the same space that you were in in the original uh spread you end up in the same space except this time you're seeing clearly with the ace of swords in front of you let's keep going because i need to see what's behind you oh what in the world this is interesting I'm starting to get chills because now we got the same card behind you. And I shuffled this. I shuffled the hell out of this deck. Y'all have a specific message. It's not changing. So in love.